Hey everybody, it's Tiffany. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but um, I did close down my paper shop because I just couldn't keep up with it and still run my jewelry business, but I have been making corsages for a wedding for my son's wedding and I just wanted to share with you. I thought you might want to make one for you know, homecoming prom kind of thing. So, yeah, let's just jump in and get started. Um, what I'm using are pretty basic supplies. I have a wire cutter and some scissors and a glue gun. I have, I got these flowers from Hobby Lobby. Um, you'll want, uh, what I've done is one, a little bit larger flower, it's not a, it's not a really big flower. I would say three inches, gosh, two and a half, three inches across, and then I've got a smaller flower. So you'd probably want a large and two small flowers. They had these at Hobby Lobby too, these I found in the aisle next to the wedding section. They're just little, like little picks, I guess you'd say. It's not a big bush. And they don't go on sale. So that was a bummer. <laughs> because every most things at Hobby Lobby go on sale every about every three weeks, I want to say. And then, so yeah, you could totally use those two little ones and then a big one. What I've done is used a small flower and a large flower and a little, like a big berry. It's it's probably like a rose hip, I would say, is what it actually is. And fall colors, I found these at Michael's, if you want those. I love how they look on these corsages. But So this is the corsage. I used the sparkly rhinestone bracelets from Hobby Lobby and they're I want to say they're five dollars each I've got one here in a package let's see yeah they're five dollars each but every few weeks they do go on sale 50% off and then they also have these ones they have several different kinds this is more of just a soft elastic and I got a couple different ones because these ones are quite quite small but most of the girls are very small and then these are bigger. These have a little more room in them. So I did a couple different ones so people could choose from them. Anyway, I also, you'll want some ribbon. Um, I just have a lot of this ribbon because I love it. Any kind of ribbon will do. You'll need some, just some extra leaves from whatever greenery you have. And I did um, cut out some little felt ovals with um, a die cut, but you can just cut them out by hand. It's perfectly fine, just a, a, an oval shape or even a rectangle with rounded corners is perfect. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it doesn't show a whole lot. So to get started, this is pretty simple. I don't like these big metal things that come on the bracelets. I know you can wrap them around your flower to hold it in, but I just, I just use hot glue. Gosh, look how easy that breaks. <laughs> anyway, all I do is like clip it off with my clippers. Let's see, and it cuts really easy. like that okay and then you'll, you'll oops, sorry have these two little ribbons that they tie it on and all another reason I don't like it being it's bulky but it slides around like that metal piece that slides around um, in between the ribbons it's not secured very well and I just leave the ribbons on it because I feel like that helps your hot glue adhere I'm, I think, I feel like the ones I've done have adhered pretty well to the rhinestones, but yeah, I have to 
make sure I'm still recording. Okay. <laughs> but I think having that ribbon, that little bit of ribbon, really makes a big difference. So all I'm going to do is put some hot glue, mostly where the ribbons are. Just like that. Place that right in the center. And I'm going to lay it down. I don't want to burn myself. This is very hot. I'm going to move these out of the way. Just press that down with my scissors. I'm going to try this on for you because I didn't do that. That's just so cute though. And you can do, you know, smaller flowers if you don't want such a statement. But I think they're really cute. Okay, that's ready. Then my big flower. I am just going to trim that off at a little, pretty close to the base of the flower, a little bit at an angle. And I'm gonna save this for my boutonnieres. These little wire stems come in handy, the thinner ones. Okay, so it's got a little bit of an angle there. That will help your flower sit so it's not just flat. See how they're um, butted up next to each other, but at an angle. So then I'm simply going to put a bunch of glue on the back of this flower, a little bit on the top. And I'm going to try to see which way I want it to go. I want it to lean outwards. So. You probably can't see the stem very well, but I'm going to turn it so the angle <laughs> um, is that the right way? Let's see. Yeah. You can see, oh, this is tricky. Try not to burn my fingers. And just get as much to adhere, like on one side as you can. You'll have some gappage in here. Okay, and you'll want that kind of up in the corner of your oval. All right, then, so you want it to kind of face out away from you. Then do the same thing with your little, I guess this is your medium sized flower. Trim it at an angle. Put a bunch of glue on it. I'm gonna nestle it right in there. Whoops. With your big flower kind of on the lower right section of your oval. So we've got both flowers on the right side of the oval, top and bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue there, just a little bit. You don't want it to show to hold them together and just secure it a little bit more. Okay. So far, so good. I've got my leaves already trimmed. Oh, I should have put my leaves on first. I wasn't thinking. Okay. So I'll just have to nestle it in there. I'm gonna trim that just a little bit more. Put a little bit of glue on the back of that. And I'm gonna put that kind of on the lower left side of my oval. Oh, that glue is dripping. <laughs> oh, that was hot. Sorry. Okay. Like I saved it. It's poking out a little bit more than I would probably prefer it to be. So start by putting your leaf 
down first. And then I've got this trimmed already off this little bush. I might trim it. I'm going to try it. I might want to trim it down more. Oh, I think that will be perfect, actually. Maybe I'll trim it just a bit. And just going to put some hot glue on that stem. Wrap it around a little bit and then you don't get as many cobwebs. <laughs> Just hold that in place for a minute. Okay, it looks really good so far. You'll notice that we've got some little bit of gaps. So... I've got a little ribbon tied here already. All I do for these, I know there's a special way to wire it on, but all I do is simply tie a bow. And I usually end up fiddling with it a little bit. So I'm gonna make that a little bit longer. Sorry, doesn't usually take me that many tries. Okay, I'm going to bring that down a little. And then I just tie another bow right on top of that bow. Okay, that's probably the hardest part, but it's not really not very hard. And then I'm going to trim it off with a little, hmm, I don't even know what to call that. Okay, and then I'm going to do the hot glue trick again. Just put a whole bunch of hot glue on like the center, the back of that. I'm just going to nestle it in there in between, kind of in between your rose hip and your big flower, just like that. Fluff it up a little bit. And there you go. There's your corsage, and then I like to fill in. I do have, I got this baby's breath. This was from Hobby Lobby too. Try to get your florals on sale when, when they're 50% off. They are 50% off right now this week. I'm just gonna cut that little piece about that long. I think I'll cut two of them. And same thing, add a little bit of glue to the, just like the little bottom half inch of your stem and stick it in where you feel like it needs a little space filled in. So right there. Just make sure that glue is grabbing onto something. Go pull it out a little bit. And then sometimes I'll kind of look at the back and see what I think. You can add a little bit of little um, little bit of extra leaf if you want to cover that felt up more. You can put one there or here. I do like one right. Let's see, kind of right in there. So I'm gonna do that. So a little there and it's not rocket science you just I just make I don't really know how to do flower I, I wasn't taught in the art of flower arranging but I've done a lot of it I just try to make it make it look good play with it till it looks good right fake it till you make it <laughs> 
And you could cover all that up if you wanted to. It doesn't really show. So, yeah, I'm going to do one more little sprig of this baby's breath. You probably either here or up here. Let's see. And you can do all three if you want. I'm going to cut that down a tiny bit more. I didn't really even use my scissors. Oh, I did. For the ribbon, of course. Right on the top there in that little space. Isn't that just precious? I love these flowers. I don't know if I said the orange, the orange flower, I don't know, even know, looks like a ranunculus to me. Ranunculus, I never know how to say that word, but those are from Michaels also. They came in a bush with red and orange, and I only used the orange. It's kind of a burnt orange, but I think this, these colors are so pretty for a fall wedding. So that is it. Easy as that. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.